What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a very underrated restricted, Giratina Altered Form. The Giratina Altered Form is what you get when you're not holding the Grishus Core, uh, which used to be the Grishus Orb, but now you have the Grishus Orb, but the Grishus Orb will keep you in this form. It, it's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. This Giratina has insane bulk stats. Uh, not a whole lot of offense, but insane bulk. This is probably the bulkiest Pokemon you can get. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know a bulkier one. Like, I don't know a bulkier one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it even bulkier. Uh, this team was created by... I, I don't know their name. I will link their Twitter account. Uh, but what the plan is, is you get some poisons with Glamora early on. Mortal Spin or your Toxic Debris activates. Or you get some Thunder Waves with your Grimmsnarl here. And that will double the power of Hex on those targets. And then you just have support. You've got Grimmsnarl with its screens and its spirit break, reducing damage. You've got Rillaboom with its fake out and its grassy surge healing up Giratina, because this form isn't floating, it's got pressure. You've got Incineroar for another fake out, a parting shot. This Incineroar is great because it's safety goggles taunt, which just destroys Amoongus. Uh, and then you also have Urshifu. Urshifu, it's a good offensive set. Uh, you have two fake out users, and fake out plus Urshifu is great. It fills out the Firewater Grass core. It's a pretty bulky Urshifu, so under screens you can take some hits. And it's just overall really good. I can't wait to try this team. You know I like bulky teams. So let's jump right into it. Alright, we've got an Ice Rider up first. Alright. Uh, they have an Amoongus, they have a Chiyu Fluttermane. Oh, they have a Frigrath and an Incineroar. Neither of those are that crazy. How do I want to handle this? Um, I need to save Terra for Giratina. But Incineroar might have to be coming just for that Amoongus. Just to taunt it. Uh, I would like screens, but I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. Especially if I can get some Calm Minds. I like Incineroar and I like just throwing a power or meteor beam at something. Incineroar also has taunt, which they may not see coming, and that might block their trick room. Gotta bring Giratina. That's like the point. And then... Who else? Do I want Grimmsnarl anyway? Spirit Break isn't bad. Reflect and Light Screen could be pretty good, but in the late game, I don't know. Urshifu does do okay, and resists ice. I think I'm gonna bring Urshifu. They've got a few things that Surging Strikes do really well into, and I can at least take a hit from the Ice Horse without having to burn Terra, because I want Terra on Giratina, most likely. And no Trainer card. Boo. I don't, mm, I don't know, I, I really want screens, I just don't think they have room for it. Okay, well, they're just gonna leave both of the things that can cause problems. Alright, Intimidate does not hurt the Calyrex. I think it's Calyrex Protect Perigraph Trick Room. Do I want to hard call that? Yes. I want to call that. I want to taunt there. And I want to save my Meteor Beam for next turn, because I think Calyrex might protect. There's the threat of Meteor Beam. There's the threat of Will-O-Wisp. I think they protect. So I'm just going to Mortal Spin. Oh, they didn't protect. Uh-oh. We get the poisons. Hopefully, the taunt onto the furry giraffe works. If they go the other way, that's devastating. Right, tell me furry giraffe is trying to trick room. Okay, well, they get an attack boost. <laughs> not the best, but they're not going to get their trick room. And we get the Toxic Spikes down, so everything's poisoned unless they have a move. Which they probably do, let's be honest. Okay, Farigarath. Take some poison. Calyrex takes some poison. 
I guess we start throwing hexes. I want to just throw Hex plus Flare Blitz over in that slot. I could also Taunt plus Hex. How much special attack does this Giratina have? Decent amount of investment. It's not that strong. I need to Terra for sure. And I'm just going to throw a Hex. I know they might just Terra their horse in order to resist these pretty well, but I still think this is my play. Because if they get a... I mean, Glacial Lance is at plus one right now. It's gonna do a lot to Giratina even when I Terra. Yeah, they're gonna Terra as well. Um, show me... Grass? Water. Ah. Could be worse. We're gonna get doubled hex damage. That thing's just so bulky that it's... Oh no, that was decent! That was really decent. That would've just knocked out if you didn't, Terra. Wow. Uh, Psychic into Giratina, that should probably bounce off, honestly. Nope, it's gonna crit! <laughs> Let me guess, you crit this too? No, good. Oh jeez. Feeling a little bit low on health right this minute. Okay. Well, Calyrex is almost done. I think I want to parting shot the Ferrigarath and just protect and get a little health back in case they attack. Helping hand from Calyrex. What? Helping hand Calyrex? Are you kidding me? That's insane. Well, I'm gonna cancel that out. There's no way you're going for a Psychic on the incense slot. You must be going after Giratina. That's so wild. And I should be able to get a double knockout if what's happening is what I think is happening. Oh no, it's Hyper Voice. Well, at least I knocked you down to basically this will be a neutral hit. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness. And Throat Spray? Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool tech you got there. Calyrex is almost gone. Okay. Grass taunts over, but I think it's in Surging Strikes range, so I'll just click Surging Strikes and click Hex onto Calyrex, and I should be good. Uh, I guess their play... I would probably go for another Helping Hand Hyper Voice in this position. Then if you can live the Surging Strikes, which I'm really hoping you don't. Like, I've got Mystic Water. I've got 156 attack EVs. I think this takes you out from here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Urshifu, you're, you're making it closer than it's supposed to be. Okay, it's good. <laughs> we're good, we're good. It's just hard to do the math. That's all. Urshifu, I, tr I trusted you the whole time, Urshifu. Never once did I doubt you, Urshifu. And Giratina getting a KO with a critical hit. Crit mattered there. Oh, man. I could have call minded. I, did, I didn't want to risk them going for Glacial Lance there. Because they were going to go down to poison anyway, so I could have call minded, but like. Just because I thought they were going to do that play doesn't mean they were definitely going to do that play. Alright, they've got Flutter Main left. And Chiyu. Well, at least we get the poison on both. Um, how do we want to do this? Feeds of Ruin. No booster energy on that Flutter Mate. Double Protect here is free. That Flutter Mane...
There could be Scarf on the Chiyu, there could be Specs on the Chiyu, there could be Sash on the Fluttermane, there could be Specs on the Fluttermane. Double Protect is totally free though. Um, they have the offense to still win this. This game is not over. I think what I have to do is squeeze in an Aqua Jet and then pray. Okay, they go for Dazzling Gleam. Looks like the Chiyu is not Scarfed, which is actually bad, because that could mean it's Specs. Uh, what's more threatening then, the Heat Wave or the Dazzling Gleam? Well, I think Aqua Jet might be able to bring Chiyu super low. Hmm. This is going to be cutting it really close. Because can Giratina take a hit from something? Can Incineroar take a hit when it switches in? Because I want to swap into Incineroar for Giratina. Do I? Do I want Giratina to go down? Because oh, if I swap in Incineroar and it goes down... Incineroar on its own cannot... Giratina on its own cannot. Aqua Jet into Chiyu. And try to double protect. Oh, we get it! Okay, that's awesome. Now, how much does this Aqua Jet do? Show me all of it? Uh, enough to get it down at the end of this turn, at least. I can't really ask for more than this. Good job, Urshifu. Whew. You're cutting these real close, man. <laughs> the bear's making me sweat a little bit. <laughs> Okay, that double protect is huge. I may win off of that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I may win because of that, because I was not gonna take that double up. And if all I had left was Incineroar and they have single target moves, I don't think I can win. Well, we're gonna get to see how much Dazzling Gleam does. Oh boy. Incineroar the Stern. And I really have no choice. I need to click Flare Blitz, and I need to get, click Hex. And I have to hope one of these Pokemon is around to attack at the end of this Dazzling Gleam. Whew! Yeah, Incineroar was not going to take that single target. Good game. Oh, I got a little lucky, I'll admit. But, Giratina pulled it through. Oh, good game, Josh. This is one of those games where, you know, you should never give up. Okay, a Zacian team. They've got Pelipper, they've got Ting Lu, Rillaboom, Incineroar. All that's pretty standard. But also a Dragonite. Okay. Um, I can poison not the Zacian, but everything else. I can Intimidate Spam the Zacian, because they don't really have anything that stops Intimidate Spam. I'm going to intimidate you a lot. Uh, I mean, I guess they have an inner focus mon and a special attacker, but that's it. Okay. I'm happy to intimidate. Maybe even get some burns down. That'd be nice. Oh no, we don't have Will-O-Wisp. We have poisons to get down. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. And that's gonna be my damage reduction. I don't think I need screens in this one. Because if I get a Calm Mind up or two, should be good. I mean, I guess not against Ting Lu. So, who do I bring for Ting Lu? Urshifu? Rillaboom? Rillaboom seem kind of bad here against everything else. Urshifu! Seem kind of bad here too. Oh no. Uh, who beat Zacian, honestly, on this team? If I'm being honest, it's Incineroar and nothing else. But if they're gonna put up rain, I guess I uh, gotta bring Urshifu. Huh. Zacian's gonna be a hard matchup. If I, if I can control its attack stat with Incineroar and it doesn't do anything, I can just leave it for last or take it out slowly. Good card, good card. But um, yeah, I think Zacian's gonna be a challenge. 
Dragonite and Tinglu. Fine by me. Let's get Incineroar out of here. Oh, multi-scale Dragonite. Didn't expect that. Um, who do I want to get in here? Do I want to bring in Giratina? Start Calm Minding and get the poisons down? Save Ensign for later? Um, I could also fake out and then drop some poisons now. Fake out the Ting Lu and just Mortal Spin. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just get a couple poisons down, assuming there's no Covert Cloaks or Lumberries. And then, like, yeah, the Dragonite might Stomping Tantrum or something, but it is minus one. Thunder Wave Dragonite. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We know there's no Covert Cloak because we got the poison, so that flinches. Uh. It's Leftovers Tinglu. Okay. I don't know what the Dragonite would be. It's not Clear Amulet. It's not Covert Cloak. It's not Lumberry. Maybe Safety Goggles? Maybe I could just Meteor Beam and get rid of it now. I don't know. Parting shot out of that Ting Lu. And try to Meteor Beam Dragonite. Yeah, they're just gonna paralyze me too. Okay. Uh, Stomping Tantrum's doubled this turn, so if they just go for that... Oh, I was faster anyway, but fully paralyzed. And they have Sand Yeah, I thought they would have some weird stuff. So I can just Parting Shot out, that's fine, I don't, I don't really care. Oh! Double full para. Cool. I mean, you're trying to stall a stall team here, dude. I... <laughs> I'm not too concerned, if I'm being honest. Um, how do I get rid of Tinglu eventually? With Urshifu. See, so, yeah, I want to Parting Shot out. I really want a Parting Shot out. I want to get this Incineroar off the field so I can Intimidate later. Meteor Beaming Dragonite doesn't seem bad. I still want to do that. Oh, they've got Roost! Oh, they're gonna drop their Flying Typing and get their Multi-Scale back. This Meteor Beam is not gonna do enough. This Meteor Beam is gonna bounce off harmlessly. Wow! Okay, I mean, you're still, you're stall team, you're stalling a stall team. I tried to turn up the tempo for a second and you said no. But whatever. What? Moranga Berry? Ain't no one ever heard of Moranga Berry. Like, I know what Moranga Berry is, but I've never seen anyone use it. And now you got debris on your side. Good luck. Moranga Berry? This dude out here with a Moranga Berry Dragonite. Okay. I'm always trapped, unless I mortal spin. That gets me out of the trapping. Um... Do I want to accept a Paralyze on Giratina? To get some Calm Minds up? I don't hate that. But man, this... Mm, it's annoying. <laughs> I could also just bait the Thunder Wave into Giratina and click either Protect or swap back into Incineroar. Not that I need the attack drops, really. They're not attacking. Do I want to be paralyzed? Do, do I care? Like, this game's gonna be so long. 
I think I'm happy to just throw a Calm Mind. And just throw a Mortal Spin just to get out of the trapping. So I can swap out. Your team is real slow. They're slower than this Giratina, okay. Yeah, they do Thunder Wave. I, I get it. That's what you're doing. That's your plan. And full para. And ruination. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Don't like that. But I got my call mind up. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long game, win or lose. I wish I I want to bring in something on this slot, but I can't because I didn't get off the mortal spin. So I'm sitting here, still trapped by Sandtoon. Need to keep Incineroar around still. And I don't want to tear this because I'll become weak. Okay. I think I just protect Giratina. And I'm going to throw a Sludge Bomb at Dragonite now. Getting Dragonite out of the way would be nice. I don't want to know what else it's trying to do. Encore! I really don't want to see that happen. Thank you for finally attacking, Lamora. And it wasn't enough? <sighs> of course it wasn't enough. Well, Dragonite now has to choose between Encore and Surviving. I think it'll choose Encore, though. Oh, man. This team is so annoying. I'm still trapped in Sand Tomb, because I never got off the Mortal Spin. They could Encore and then Faint, so they, they would rather Encore and Faint, I think. So they're going to click Encore. So I, I go into Urshifu. And I should Mortal Spin to get untrapped. Even if the trapping was going to end this turn anyway. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh, they did Roost! No! Come on, man! And of course I can never move because I'm fully paralyzed. Ruination, good dodge. Alright, well, Ting Lu is very, very slowly losing out. I wonder if I actually scare them now, now that I have Ting now that I have something that can KO Ting Lu in. But why, Glamora? Why will you not get out of the trap? I'm gonna go into my Giratina, and I'm gonna get rid of Dragonite. Glamora? We're gonna get rid of Dragonite, right? Am I right? Yeah, they tried a Thunder Wave, of course. That's You're a bot. You only want to do one thing. And it's been working out for you, so I don't see why you would ever stop. Okay, they just take out... Fine. <sighs> okay. It's okay. Okay, because now we can threaten both of them, because we can hex the Dragonite, forcing it to continuously roost until it gets a full para, that is. I just don't want to get Ruination again. Yeah, so I, I kind of want to, I want to try to take out both of them here, if I can. 
Uh, Hex is doubled, but so is Dragon Pulse just by being stronger, because it's super effective. Yeah. So it's a Dragon Pulse into Dragonite, and a Surging Strikes into Tinglu, and I'm not going to think twice about it. This has been too annoying. You finally took out one of my mons. I'm going to take out one of yours in exchange. What's that? It has Thunder Wave, Encore, Roost. It must have an attacking move. Um, am I going to finally see it? Nope, it's just going to Thunder Wave. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I'm so glad to trade for you. Taking two KOs here. Nope, never mind. Oh! <sighs> oh no, it goes down to poison because it didn't roost. Right, okay. Oh my goodness. So I've got three paralyzed Pokemon. You've got two Pokemon that may or may not be poisoned, depending on their typing. I assume one of them is Zacian. Pelipper is not poisoned, because it's in the air. Zacian is not poisoned, because it's a steel type. Awesome. So cool. Exactly what I wanted to see. So great. Just love it. Um... Can I win this? I need to bring Incineroar in somewhere. Giratina has the best chance of living a hit. So I think I wanna... Dragon Pulse the Pelipper and bring in Incineroar here. This way I can get another Intimidate down by swapping back out. Uh, I mean, this is all risky. They could just read this, or I could get full Terra, and then they have positioning on me. They still have Terra. They haven't used Terra yet. Uh, Play Rough Dodge is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Play Rough Dodge. I'm connecting a Dragon Pulse, that's big. Awesome. Not a fan of the confusion and the paralysis on Incineroar right here. Can I make it work? I think I need to go for this. I think I need to fake out the Zacian. Yeah, they're not going for protect. Got the fake out. Yes, that's huge. That is genuinely so huge. Uh, they hurricane, they hurricane the Giratina. I'm surprised by that. And we take out Pelipper. Let's go. That's really, really big. Okay. That means I can pivot out my Incineroar. Get another Intimidate down. Get another Fake Out turn for later. Yeah, and just go for a Hex for now. Because what I want to do, I would rather position the... I would rather Giratina go down and get a fake out next to Surging Strikes, but that may not be the... Oh, they're just going to Sacred Sword? That's awesome. Free hit. Thank you for the free hit. It's not a very strong hit, but it's free. Um... Would they be bold enough to Sacred Sword into Giratina here? Well, I don't think it matters. I think the play now is to intimidate them, get rid of the play rough weakness, and throw a huge Surging Strikes in their reign. I think that's my win. Okay. Oh, and they haven't been Terrastalizing. They must be afraid based on what Terra type they have. I don't know what Terra type they have. 
but it must not be a good one up against something I have. Nope, I'm wrong. There it is. <laughs> uh, is it grass? Is it water? Either one of those would make sense here. Grass, okay. I can live with that, because I get the surging strikes off most likely. We'll do still do some damage. Especially Terra Water. Uh, unless you use, like, does it get Leaf Blade? That would be devastating. <laughs> uh, I mean, it makes sense. It's holding a sword. I know it got Solar Blade last gen. Wouldn't use that here. Just play rough into instant. We eat it! Incredible. So now, even if this doesn't knock out, we have a fake out turn, maybe. Um, the fake out turn relies on both of my mons going. But attacking with both mons only relies on the one that doesn't get hit going. And I can do that more than once. So yeah, I'm just gonna Flare Blitz, Surging Strikes. Not even gonna go for a fake out. Battle was cancelled. GG! That was such an annoying game, oh my gosh. I hate Thunder Wave and I hate you. GG. All right, we've got a Kyogre team, Kyogre Chi Yu, uh, Rillaboom, Ensign, Raging Bolt, and Iron Jugulus. Jugulus Snarl Spam is gonna be really annoying for Giratina. Uh, but Giratina, t ooh. Giratina really wants to keep its typing up against Kyogre, but really wants to lose its typing against Chi Yu, Incineroar, Jugulus. This could be a bad position. Oh, they don't have really anything that wants to get poisoned? So I could just do that. Uh, and they don't really have... What's the Terra type on this thing? Dark? That's not gonna help against Kyogre. They don't really have anti-priority. How fast is this Rillaboom? Pretty fast. Okay. I think maybe I can get Fake Out and get some poisons down. Put this in the back. And then, Incineroar seems like a no-go. Grim Snarl seems good. And so does Urshifu. Uh, who would I rather bring? Grim Snarl or Urshifu? I think I'm gonna be relying a little bit more. I think Grim Snarl, just cause it actually has a shot against Raging Bolt. Because, yeah, if I, because Rillaboom doesn't do much to Raging Bolt. Glamora doesn't do much to Raging Bolt. Giratina can beat Raging Bolt unless it gets Snarl Spammed. But Spirit Breaks into Raging Bolt could be nice. So yeah, that's who I want. Shiny Fluttermane, nice. Okay. Iron Jugulus, Kyogre. Well, I should be able to get a fake out onto the Kyogre. And then throw some poisons down across the board. Oh, uh, it's just booster energy Jugulus. Speed, correct? Grass? Came out before Kyogre. Slow Kyogre. Huh. Okay. Kyogre has very little speed investment. Um, yeah, I'm happy to Mortal Spin. Definitely don't want a Terra, but I also don't want to get Hurricane. Ah, I don't like this play anymore. Okay, we do see a Terra, though, so maybe this was the right play. Yeah, Kyogre Terra, that's good. That means this fake out was not wasted. Because I was considering just going for, like, a Meteor Beam on the Jugulus to get that out of the way, and faking out into that, hoping Kyogre would come back. But I don't really care as much that I'm getting hit by a Hurricane, now that your Kyogre's a grass type anyway. You know? Poison on Jugulus, a poison on Kyogre. You are not Covert Cloak. And then you flinch. I'm faster with both of my mons. You could Tailwind, of course. 
Maybe you do. That would be annoying. Uh, but I think maybe I just spiky shield and use that to get in Grim Snarl with from Rillaboom. Uh, does Rillaboom serve a purpose anymore? Really no. Really nothing. There's nothing Rillaboom can do from now on. So I'm happy to just spiky shield and if you don't hit my Rillaboom, I'll you turn. Fine. Can't imagine you wouldn't just tailwind water spout here. Yep, there's the tailwind. And here comes the water spout? Yeah. That might be enough to take out Rillaboom, depending on your item. It's not! <laughs> okay. Free U turn, big hit. Thank you. You're not water spouting me again. Um. I'm gonna go into Grim. Grim Snarl the Opportunist. Now it would likely be an Origin Pulse and I want to say a Hurricane into Grim Snarl most likely. Origin Pulse would hurt. But I think now I do want to bring in. Do I want to bring in Giratina or do I want to give up Rillaboom? I do have a Fake Out turn. I don't need to throw it away. Um, is Glamora good against anything in the back line? It sure is. Yeah, saving Glamora seems like a good idea, actually. Um, going into Giratina here, it's a little risky. I don't think they would snarl. I do need to set up light screen now. As badly as I want to spirit break that Jugulus, I should just wait. Alright, the Galar Champion, a shiny Giratina. That's cool. That's a cool uh, ribbon to get. Yeah, definitely gonna appreciate this light screen going forward. Oh, it was a snarl. That's annoying. Well, I can just get out. I don't need to keep that special attack drop if I don't want it. Oh, and you crit my Grim Snarl. That's why you did 10 damage. Come on, man. And an Origin Pulse connects on both. At least that one didn't crit Grim Snarl. Now, do I keep them snarling? Because I don't want to give up anything I have in the back. I could just protect Spirit Break. I think that might be the plan. Like, yeah, you got me to minus one, but I don't have to switch out right now. I don't have to switch out, ever, if I don't want to. Battle was just cancelled. They're that annoyed? <laughs> Good game. <laughs> and we are back. Only three games this time because, I mean, it's a stall team. I don't, you don't want to sit here for two hours. Maybe you do. Actually, let me know in the comments if you want to see me play a stall team for like an hour and a half straight. Because I'll do it. Uh, but, but anyways, thank you so much to the creator of this team. This was a blast. This team feels really good, even with Giratina on it. Like, I did not appreciate Giratina, but I saw some of the hits it can take, and it's awesome. And the rest of this team is great, too. Glamora is still good in this Regulation G meta. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm Jordy. And uh, all right. Peace.